Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. It's so greatly appreciated. It truly, truly is. Before we start, let me give you my usual disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only. Please do not take what I say as fact. Please always do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Next, if you have not liked, subscribed, or commented yet, please consider doing so. It would mean so, so much to me. It truly, truly would. And with that, let's start, okay? 19-year-old Jordan Ebner of Lake Stevens graduated from Kamiak High School in 2015, and he enrolled in Everett Community College later that year. He was described as athletic, well-liked, he loved to play baseball, and had a close group of friends. He was a hard worker, and he was employed at an auto detailing shop during and after high school. 19-year-old Jake Long of Everett also graduated from Kamiak High School and was getting ready to attend Washington State University, where he planned to study either business or nursing. He excelled in both academics and sports. He took advanced placement courses in math and science while he was in high school, and he was a phenomenal baseball player who could pitch, play second base, and was a catcher during his senior year. He was a hard worker and he was employed at the Shoreline Community College Cafe. He was extremely devoted to his siblings. He would actually wake up early every single morning so that he could take his little brother and little sister to daycare. He was a good kid. He was also described as a kind soul who was always there for people. 19 year old Anna Bowie of Everett graduated from Kamiak High School where she participated in the choir and she was part of an a cappella group known as the Starry Night. She also had a role in the stage musical Little Shop of Horrors. She was attending the University of Washington where she had dreams of becoming a nurse. She was also working weekends at the Karen Cabin Adult Facility Home in Bothell. Bothell? As a certified nursing assistant, she was described as very kind, sweet, and intelligent. Anna was in a relationship with 20-year-old Alan Ivanov for a little over a year. Ivanov was described as a bright computer student, pretty intelligent and pretty quiet. He founded a laser tag company called Skirmos in 2014. He was an employee at the Apple store and was going to college so that he could improve his position at the company Shrink. Preliminary testing done on Ivanov suggested that he has the brain development of someone years younger. So just to be clear, this is in terms of maturity, not intelligence. Right before Anna was getting ready to embark on a huge trip to Europe for a month where she planned on staying in hostels, while traveling from Spain to Morocco to Italy to Ireland with her sister, Ivanov de decided to end their relationship. Some sources say that she was very upset about the breakup. Some sources say that she was very unhappy in the relationship. And some sources say maybe it was a combination of both. What is confirmed is that after she returned home from her trip to Europe with her sister, Anna was the happiest that she has ever been. She was in a great place. So when Ivanov wanted to rekindle their relationship, Anna was not interested in traveling down that road again. And this infuriated him. <sighs> July 30th, 2016, Alan Ivanov drove over to a house party that was being hosted by a boy named Tristan at his parents' beach mansion. Four days before the party took place, Alan Ivanov walked into a Maryville's store called Cabela and walked out with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle and two 30-round clips of ammunition in less than 30 minutes. Two days before the party, Ivanov wrote on social media, first and last tweet, I've been through it all. He also posted this picture of his new rifle with ammunition. The night of July 30th, Ivanov drove up to the party, looked through the window, and says that he saw Anna with another man. That's when he went back to his car and began reading the instruction manual for the AR-15, how to operate it. 
when he finally stepped out of the car, an 18 year old Will Kramer once in the back. Will Kramer. Will Kramer was a student at the University of Washington. He's described as athletic and fun loving with an amazing circle of friends. Next, he shot Jordan Ebner and Jake Long before finally settling his eyes on his true target, Anna Bowie. He snuck in through a back door that was open. He walked over to Anna and he fired at her numerous times. Kids at the party began running and hiding and calling 911. And because people at the party knew who he was, they were able to tell 911, they were able to identify him to 911. He was found about 90 minutes later on Interstate 5, which is about 100 miles away from the crime scene. He was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. I waited outside that house for hours, my heart racing like it would explode. I pulled the trigger because I couldn't control my emotions. Allen says he opened fire in a jealous rage over his ex-girlfriend, Anna Bowie. Anna visits me in my dreams and talks to me all the time. I cannot explain how much I loved her and how much I still am forever will. Ivanov, Anna and friends Jordan Ebner and Jake Long, Will Kramer, back survived. 16 others ran for their lives. I felt an intense heat for a split second on my left hand. I did not know at the time that this was a bullet passing my fingertips. And I looked down a hallway and I saw Jordan Ebner laying on the ground motionless with his eyes open. In just 35 seconds, Ivanov forever changed so many lives. Jordan Ebner's father told the court today he's disappointed Ivanov will not be getting the death penalty. He took my first, my first boy. I'll never get to see him get married. <laughs> I have kids. Jake Long's mother brought the cremated remains of her son, describing her excruciating pain. It seeps down into my chest where my heart is squeezed to the point that I am just sure it's going to explode. Although Anna Bowie's father needed a translator, the devastation is profound. Every day I think about it, um, I cry, I don't know how to stop it, and it's just hard. We also heard from others who are appalled by the crime and Ivanov's behavior since. Since the crime, he has written rap lyrics bragging about his girlfriend, it appears to me that Mr. Ivanov was raised as a spoiled brat, that he never heard the word no, and a monster was created. Ivanov did apologize. I want to apologize wholeheartedly to all those whose lives I've taken. I'm devastated by the enormity and finality of my misdeed. But as she left court, Jake Long's mom says those words bring no comfort at all. I feel that these, his apology was extremely insincere. Awful. Such a tragedy. All right, guys, if you're still here, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so very much. I know this was a short one. I'm sorry, but there was, they were also kids, so there wasn't a lot that was put out about them. But if you have any suggestions, email me, harding527 at yahoo.com. And until next time, stay safe out there.